Good. Welcome to Good Mythical More. Superpower. Oh. Don't tell anyone, but we're actually superheroes, and our names are the Human Antler and Wonder Skunk. And our powers are. Well, I can poke. I can poke poke you with my antler, which is my entire body, as you can see. I am a human antler. Yeah. I am I'm a discarded, not a horn from a deer. Don't call me a horn or you'll 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 feel my wrath hoke. <laughs> and I'm the wonder skunk. I give out a smell that's just enough where you say, I wonder if that's a skunk. <laughs> not in this state. Uh, let's bring in the mythical crew, mythical team members. Um, okay, so we've got some stories. Come on in, guys. Oh. I've also got a salad with some hair in it, which, yes. Are you gonna make me I, eat that, I, man? I mean, I mean, come on, man. I, I, I actually said I lost. make, I make lost. love. Yeah, you, you definitely. Which is the, you know, the gentleman's way of saying have sex. Nicole, don't be shy, come on up here. Okay, there's so much hair. Um, so is this your hair, Nicole? No, it's not. Is this your salad? Yes. <laughs> okay, so you made this salad. Yes. Where'd you get the hair? Uh, I can't tell you guys. Oh, can't disclose no. that information. Looks really. But enjoy. Now, <laughs> by show of hands, it does look. If you're really, really long hungry long. and you go to a nice, well-rated on Yelp restaurant, where you're going with this? And <laughs> let's just say it is the salad. Mm. And the salad's great. They're known for their salads. Like, there's pictures of salads on the Yelp reviews. Mm. Mm. But yours has one hair. One hair. One hair. By one show hair. of hands. Okay. Well, I did, I'm not just asking for you to show your hand. Oh, <laughs> look at it. <laughs> you just know you're gonna eat the salad. I'll eat the salad. I don't. I don't think hair is that gross. I'm on. I'm on team hair is not that gross. Me too. Yeah. I okay. want to know about the hair. Like, what does it look like? How long? Super short you know. and crinkly. I pick out my own <sighs> hair out of so much stuff. That you assume that they took your hair, put it in the salad, and yeah, served it to you? Yeah, but long hair style, so uh, super short and crinkly. I don't, I don't At least this is about. long yeah. hair. If I if I know that it's a head uh, hair. Oh. Well, yeah, that's a lot of hair. I, I, and I'm it's just a hair, I don't take it back. In fact, we got into an argument on our vacation oh because we ordered this sandwich in England and there was a hair in the wrapper. Ooh. In the oh. wrapper, the of, wrapper the of the sandwich. And Shepard, my youngest, didn't want to eat it and he's pretty picky. And I got, and like I turned into dad, the dad that's making his child eat the hairy, yeah. hairy thing. <laughs> oh. 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 Now you pull, just pull the, pull, any oh, hair you no. can get, you just pull it out. Yeah. It's also floss. That's yeah. There's still some I in there. I floss with my own hair though. So. Oh, oh, it was like a magician's oh, trick. Oh a really disgusting <laughs> oh, no, magician. Already going down your throat. Oh, oh God. Is there any more? I don't know. There's still some wide up. So apparently you don't care either. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just want to see if you could taste the shampoo? Fancy shampoo? I didn't taste the shampoo. <laughs> How's the salad um, otherwise? I'm just wondering what's fine. What's going to happen with the hairs that I am ingesting? Like between. The stomach they're and the intestine. They're gonna come out in your poop. Yeah. Well, they're just like, yeah, they're just like, what? what Keratin. Keratin, yeah. So it's, it's. And that's the interesting thing is Shepard used to just eat hair, eat Jesse's hair when he was younger, when he was a baby. That's weird. And it would. Yeah, and we find it in his poop. Right, but it it could it could be at his size, it could be coming out, and it could still be all the way up into the stomach. Right, because he's a little baby. Let's forget this happened. Read the first. Okay. <laughs> so these are these are times when all all four of you worked at restaurants at some point, Multiple. and uh, we've got stories, and we're going to match you to the story. We Here's still the work one. at restaurants. I know, a lot right? Of us. A lot of yep. right? I shift Help after me. this. At my restaurant, the celebrity who got approached the most was not who you'd expect. One day, the dog whisperer, what? Cesar Milan. <laughs> was eating by himself and people would come in and ask him for advice with their dogs, like people who saw in the window would come in from the street and he talked to every single person and was one of the nicest people ever. Who worked at a restaurant where Caesar Milan was super nice? This is not a confession, this is a humble brag. <laughs> <laughs> well, how, you can't really take credit for that. I think the 
I think it was like just interesting things at your restaurant job. Yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this must be you. Huh? <laughs> yeah. You take it up for this one. I don't think that she. No, unless she's doing reverse reverse psychology. I, I don't. Yeah, think, she wouldn't. Um, she wouldn't have spoken up. She would have been before. very quiet. Yeah, I think Nicole. Nicole looks like the kind of person who would work at a restaurant where Caesar would go on a regular basis and also be nice. Because he's gonna taste. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> do you, do you have a pet? I do. His name is Tommy. What is Tommy? Tommy is a Bichon poodle. Uh, yeah. See, she didn't even say he's a dog. She just assumed that you knew right. he was a dog because she works at a restaurant and, what and did, Caesar enjoys what himself. What did the dog whisperer tell you? Because you also probably ask him about don't, Tommy. I, you, don't, you can't answer that. I worked as a hostess. That's a hint. <laughs> at a local, <laughs> is One is eliminated. Is it? <laughs> At a local bar and grill, when one day they installed a live lobster claw machine. Oh, a live lobster claw I machine. I love those. <laughs> Man, <laughs> Just you know, it. like the grabby claw toy game, but with the live lobsters. And it was right next to my hostess stand, and I bonded with the lobsters and named them, and would tell everyone their names and backstories if they went to use the machine. <laughs> okay. It was removed pretty quickly, and so was I. <laughs> <laughs> but as a management, probably didn't en enjoy that. Um, okay, so we got a hero in our midst. <laughs> Who seems like they had the most sympathy for crustaceans? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, that's that's horrible. Yeah. Like turning it into a game for the children. I, I, okay. Animals. This one's easy. I mean, this one's short. I worked in a sushi restaurant and accidentally deep fried a dollar bill. <laughs> Wonder how that happened. I'm trying to, yeah, what what leads to this? Deep frying a dollar bill. Is it somebody who just has a lot of ones? Counting your tips. Out? Making it rain. Or got, they, you have, got seaweed they... co confused with uh, a dollar? They do taste the same. the same. Oh, really? Yeah. I wonder. Like a wrap. Because the person who makes the sushi, the sous chef is what they're called. Absolutely. <laughs> sushi. Okay. Um, it's pretty close. <laughs> maybe someone else does the tempura stuff and like there's dollars. Definitely. The guys at the front sushi bar don't get anywhere close to, to hot grease. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a stab at Matt Lieb. I just feel like his pockets are at fryer level. Uh, <laughs> that's it, that's it. I need no more convincing. One time I was so tired that I drank someone's milkshake in front of them because I forgot I was at work <laughs> and making it for them. I, I, this is, not, I, this like, is great. I, yeah, I can see this happening. You know, you just get in that zone where it's like, this why is am a, I here? This this is something. I'm here, a milkshake's here. This is something that like happens in a dream, not in real life. Though. It's like, I had a dream where I drank somebody's milkshake right in front of them. Who would actually do that Let's, kind of thing in real well, life? Well, we can do a switcheroo. <laughs> Hold it up here. Um, I feel really good about these choices. <laughs> okay. Um, Ellie, are we correct? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is very hypocritical because it's not like I'm a vegan or anything like that. But like the lobsters swimming around in their sad tank, I was just like, I gotta, I gotta stop right. this. Um, but they didn't. Yeah, they didn't like that. But I was leaving for college soon after. So. Okay. So were you fired though? I was not asked back. You know, it was okay. like it was like a right. summer job, and the next summer I was not welcome. Did you go back to see if they brought the lobsters back after you were gone? Yeah, it's like a popular place in my hometown Did for they? like kids to like go out and stuff like that. No, the no, lobster was spot gone. was a popular hangout. No, it was a it was a ham it was like a burger it was like a bar and grill, and then they just brought in a lobster claw machine, and they were like, if you catch it, we'll cook it, which yeah. is like gross yeah, that, something to tells me this it. is not. That's There's happening. not many restaurants that are currently doing the lobster claw oh, machine. That's see, kind of a thing of the past. Seems low key cruel. Was yeah. That, was that common in the past? You're gonna go hunt for your dinner. Yeah. I, I saw. I mean, I, I not a claw machine necessarily, but many restaurants where you go in and there's like a tank of lobsters. Right. I've but heard that. But you don't that see that. that a lot. Well, Red Lobster still has that going strong. Oh, the lobster tanks. tanking. The yeah. Tank? yeah. Oh yeah, it's still there. You can just go in. You can pick your pick your guy. I know. But I'm, cheddar Bay biscuits. I cheddar eat meat, but like that yeah. just bums me out so it much. It's just like you see it, and it's like, oh, it has its own little life. Ugh. And I know that's true for all animals, but. Oh. You really want to talk about this, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt? Let's skip to you. Are we correct? 
You are absolutely not correct. Oh! oh. Yeah, I would never deep fry a dollar, all right? I keep my dollars in my bank. That's what I do. <laughs> okay. yeah. Yeah. So who yeah. deep fried the dollar? Then that um, must have been, that must have been. Hell if I know. Uh, Which one's yours? Uh, I am the one who drank the milkshake. Right. That was my... <laughs> <laughs> I was so, so tired. <laughs> I worked at McDonald's. Oh, you worked at McDonald's? Yeah, okay. and, and they, you know, you have to wake up super early uh, to do the, the breakfast shift, and I had been working all day into lunch, and then by the time that came around, I just drank someone's milkshake right in front of them, and they looked at me, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and then I was like, sorry, no, this, I made this for me. This is mine. I'll, yours is coming, coming right now. And then I just walked over and made them another one. <laughs> It was I made it one bad. for me first. <laughs> so I can make yours. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to test the machine, see if it's still good. It's a very good consistency. Yeah. Also, thinking about drinking a milkshake like really early in the morning is hilarious. Yeah, like, well, 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 you said it was after lunch by that point. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've been working so Mixed many that. hours. What about Mixed the dollar bill? Are we right now, Christine? Mm -mm. I wish I did though. That'd be cool. Oh, yeah. right. so Nicole, <laughs> you guys switch. Oh, you deep fried did a dollar we did not do well today. You should have right. known when she corrected you on sous chef. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so are you at the? Are you the tempura lady, or were I you was. actually rolling sushi? I was a tempura lady for about a month. <laughs> that is the official. Yeah, right. the te official right. tempura okay. lady. And then I used to keep my really? my tips in my front pocket of my apron. In your bra. In my in my apron. Okay. And then it looked like you were doing no, that. No, <laughs> in my apron. And then there was a little pocket in the front. And then um, I was I threw in some shrimp, and then a dollar bill fell out, and <laughs> I freaked out, and I didn't know what to do. And then I ran and got a pair of clean tongs and took it out. Clean. And it wasn't like. Yeah. But is it like when a kid it like poops in the pool it. and then you've got to like no, start over? Exactly. Drain no, the swamp. No, it's we hot oil. Had to stop using it. No, no, no. Had to totally stop using it. And then we had to get rid of the oil. Well, you didn't have to. Well, I, well, you know. You wanted to because you're you a good should. person. I yeah. feel really should. good about your work here now. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Because thank you. you have principles. I do. And someone in the kitchen needs those. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm here. That's true. And Christine, <laughs> mm -hmm. so you were hamming it up with Caesar Milan. I worked at a restaurant and it was like really bougie. Um, and we had a lot of celebrities and he was the nicest one. All the other ones were kind of, Jackie Chan was also very nice. Oh, that's yeah. good. But he was the nicest. I saw him driving around in a Kia Soul. In my neighborhood. Really? Lines. Yeah. You sure it wasn't just some random person no. in a Kia Soul? He had a, he had a bunch of dogs in the back, and I was like, I get these two things together. Everybody comes up to this. Everybody wants to know something about their dog. They want all yeah. dog advice. They all, all this man was trying to eat his, his salad alone. I, I just couldn't do that to the man. It's. I think he probably, in terms of like the type of celebrity that has to endure the the most it's like it's it's got to be him you know or what you're going to talk about with him you know yeah you and, and people naked. feel empowered to go up to him i have because, a dog or i had a dog i knew a dog <laughs> <laughs> or i've got a problem and only you can fix it I have i'm a only going to trust problem. you to fix it well the worst thing about dog problems is that it's like the same five to six problems so he's yeah. answering the same five to six questions pretty much every time he could probably have a pamphlet yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he has a book, multiple, <laughs> and a show. I've heard. And a show. Yeah, yeah, maybe, so he, maybe every every restaurant he goes, he just he, he turns it into a book signing. Five bucks. <laughs> just, a, yeah. just a stack of books. <laughs> Sign and give it to him. Yeah. Business model. Dog problems. Don't miss out on our mythical mugs. Collect all three at mythical.com before they're gone forever.